What's up guys? Today is Monday. That means it's Cornwell Monday. We're on Mr. Joe's truck, so let's go take a look, see what he's got. Hey guys, how you doing today? I hope you all had a good week. Warmed up a little bit, but when it was really cold, I wore that Milwaukee heated jacket that needed on all the time, but it was fun. Guys go, man, I'm freezing. I go, oh man, I'm so, I forget, I'm sweating. They go, sweating? So yeah, let me turn my jacket down or off. But uh, a lot of fun with that. It's my heat, my hunting jacket. And I can tell you, when you're out there, you don't need it on the whole time. But it'll stay there if it's really cold. Thanksgiving's coming up. A couple days, I'll be headed up to Great Yonder up in uh, Wisconsin, seeing all the kids, grandkids. I'm going to be covered with kids, but... We're going to have a great time, and I wish all your families a great Thanksgiving. You going to eat any turkey? Oh, turkey, turkeys, you know, because, you know, we have a big hacienda one place, a big hacienda somewhere else. You eat till you pass out, and then, you, you know, it's time to go somewhere else and eat. Well, do they home. have sweet potato pie up there? Or is it just down Not here? as much as you have here, but we, they do do a, a good job with uh, sweet potatoes. A lot of brown sugar and butter, let me tell you. <laughs> that goes good. But us guys, some of us guys, our job is to make sure all the cooks feel special. You made that? Oh, give me some more of that. You made that? Give me some more of that. You know, that way they all want to cook <laughs> yeah. more for you next year, invite you next year, make them all feel special. It's a great day for everybody. All right. Um, I've been here a couple minutes. I didn't ask Bill, don't know where he's at on, are we sledgehammering or are we not sledgehammering? We're not going to sledgehammer. <clears throat> For the fact of the Matco light still works. You, it's still a good light. You, go ahead. And, and I hate to see $90 go down the drain for something that still works. Now, if it did not work, yeah. But the thing was, it all started because the thing keeps going out on you. So that was my impression. It was not working as good as you wanted. Yeah, that holds a charge about okay. 45 minutes. And then okay. it's So let's uh, sweeten the deal 20 bucks more. <gasps> I mean, now you're getting more than half of what you paid <gasps> on it. So it's a thought. Think about it. I'm never high pressure that way. So you think about it. You let me know what you want to do. And... And I'll even give you the charger because you've had it all week and I know you haven't used it a whole lot, but it hasn't gone out on you and it hasn't run out and you know it didn't have a full charge. So you, but, you, you, you say you're giving me another week to think about it? Is that what you're saying? For you, I would do that. How about that? So we're, we're just going to leave it there and I'll give you the charger to give it a full charge and get a chance to play. Because okay. we want to see the smash and dash, you know. Get a little commando going, style going on. <laughs> commando style. Now there's another thing. You talking about going with no underwear? No, we're not oh, talking that. Okay. We're talking I'm, actual. I need to be on the same page. I want to yeah. see where we're going here. You tell me I got to keep on that page for you. You know, That's I'm right. not getting that far. But, you know, they talk about a good friend. You know, when you're in a who's calling, you know, you're looking to get bailed out. You call him up and say, hey, buddy, come get me. But you have your best friend, he wakes up, he goes, oh man, what a ride. He says, you remember anything past Tuesday? So if I don't get down here right away next week after Thanksgiving, I might be making somebody a call. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, that's going commando style. I got some tools here. We have an SK. I had the part number here. 41440. Okay. If I said that right, 41440. 40. Yes, I did. 3H drive, 516 square. Slack adjusting, a little ratchet. Gets you out of a pinch if you don't have the tool you have. It's just another tool for the job. 15 bucks. 15 dollars. And carries a lifetime warranty. I would have it no other way for you. Well, we haven't said anything about Milwaukee for a while, so we have a Milwaukee Spotlight. I know there's a part number on here somewhere, right down here. 2354-20. 157 bucks. But, 
you got flood, spot, strobe, spot and flood. I got to play with it a little bit. But we're in the city. I'm going to be uh, getting a chance to get out in the country with this. But when you turn it on, oh wait, first we'll turn it off. That's what that bad boy looks like. And that spotlight says 700 yards you'd be able to see it. And I can tell you, we, we've looked pretty far in the city, even though street lights, but being able to see it. And then these come on for the flood. So, when I turn it on, we got that spot. You know that black kind of sucks up the sucks it up but it throws you can kind of see on there and then we hit the mode button that gets brighter and I believe that very bright one that's right it's like 1250 as far as looms yeah. I say that uh, I was reading that right the spotlight says 700 looms 600 looms but uh, when you're looking at it outside at night it looks a lot brighter than that because right. it throws that beam tight and far so add some more new Milwaukee light $157 $157 out the door I should tell you there, there's a guy who told me I should get some of these yep. they're coast lights who told me Mr. Clay oh okay. yeah that was, let me that show y'all is that on there yep that's what I carry all but that was the time. This man here, Mr. Clay, he said, Joe, you need to carry these here lights. So, they are lo, lo awesome. and bold, when he showed it to me, I went and got some of these. Rechargeable. They got a little boot on the, on the end. This goes into, charges it. Mm. Kind of cool, unique. Uses this as a ground. But when you turn it on, it keeps that circle. Yep. And you and Bill have been telling me about that a couple times, how you like that. It mm -hmm. keeps that fine circle. Like when I'm looking to find something wrong, what I do is I keep my light the same distance from it, and I go from point to point, just like that. That makes a I remember you telling me that. Difference. But, uh, don't splatter around. I have a few guys looking in vehicles and stuff at that. Yeah. So I've gone through a few of these already. Uh, 60 bucks. They last a long time on a charge. charge too. They charge pretty quick. Either that or mm -hmm. they shipped with a pretty good charge because I try to put a charge on everything. So when you get one of these cool bad boy toys, you can play right away. Yep. And that light, well, we were on the spot right then. That was one you were looking for. We didn't get to give that a full charge. but So that's the air light. That and the rechargeable string light is my two Favorites. favorite lights. And I have got enough flashlights. Oh. You never say anything bad about a stream light. <laughs> Except for when somebody steals it on you. That's right. But that never happens. I, it, <laughs> they borrowed it without asking. I don't know. But anyways, um, the last week, um, one of my favorite cousins, I talked to her all the time. She's gone through a long battle with uh, cancer. She passed away. Oh, man. Um, but we all know she's in a better place. And she really has suffered more than most anybody needs to. It's been years she's been battling it she'll win the battle for a while then it'll come back and and each time it, it take just been a harder toll on her so yeah. miss robin we're all thinking about you that cancer is a terrible disease uh, it is worse that thing. and alzheimer's is God, it's terrible man yeah. um um Enjoy your Thanksgiving, cause I'm gonna have a great time. I'm gonna. I've already been telling all the kids they're all planning me coming up, and maybe I'll get a chance to do some hunting up there. Um, you gonna drink any beer? Oh man, you know, brewed Wisconsin beer. You bet. More alcohol, everything, and uh, that the Lakefront Brewery is like two miles away from my son's home. So you like can, that dark we can, beer, don't we you? We can walk. I like uh, ambers. I like some dark. I drink them, but I'll you know take what my favorite kind of beer is cold. Cold. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I was like one of my uh, great managers told me. He said, "Ask him, well, what kind of beer you like?" He says, "Whatever kind you are buying. That's right. Whatever kind you are buying, I like." <laughs> so, Absolutely. again, thank you guys. Enjoy your uh, family, and uh, we'll see you on the flip side. If I get snowed in. For a week or a couple months, it's got to be really deep snow because, you know, 
we got 12 inches we still go to work up there <laughs> all right and one other thing because i hear a lot from uh clay what he what he can do but i got a little something up my sleeve for him these here i think i talked about them before or maybe i have to him but these here peppers one of my uh customers leo martin in collinwood tennessee body shop man their friend from florida moved up and their friend from florida brought his pepper tree and his pepper i call it a tree because it's like nine feet tall wow he's retired but uh from the service uh air force and all that but he has been dabbling in growing peppers and crossbreeding them and making them well he has these here peppers into the guinness world book record well he, he he's trying to get into the record he had to su supply 18 separate peppers off of this tree There's, that's how guinness does it you know you learn something new all the time but he had to supply 18 of them so they take samples of all 18 they they average the high and low and then um and they measured you know the hotness how they do that and then they go and put them mix them all together to give you a grand uh, slurpee you know if you can take it but how this guy tells me he says the ghost pepper which everybody knows to be like the hottest thing out there he says that gives you when you eat that it gives you an afterburn in your mouth for an hour this is supposed to give you an afterburn for an hour and a half mm. he says after eating these himself and he would always eat you know hot stuff all the time it's kind of turned him off a little bit on it so I think the inside of his eye eyeballs were sweating I think that was kind of the description I heard that I can translate here yeah so I'm gonna give mr. clay I'll give him two halves okay. so he and whoever else can try it and do it you know two different times but I'd like to see something on video where they're uh, see if actually inside the eyeballs sweat We'll try. Or he'll say, yeah, this is nothing. So, we'll add that to the uh to the I mix. enjoy a good hot habanero sauce, so we'll, we'll try it. I've heard and I've seen them eat, you know, eat stuff that, you know, most people, you know, cringe at and think it's like candy. So, here we go. <laughs> I don't know about that. One, one, one more thing for you. <laughs> All right. All right. We'll try it. Thanks, All guys. Right. I hope you have a good, safe trip up and back. And, uh, Thank you. Don't eat too much. Oh, I gotta make all the cooks feel special. There you go. Like always, guys, thanks for watching. If you're interested in anything Joe showed today, his card will be right up here. Just give him a call. And be sure to hit that thumbs up if you like this video and click that subscribe button, and that way you don't miss anything. Y'all have a great one. We'll catch you next time.